Here is a very interesting problem on geometric sequence. Question 9. For a geometric sequence, T2 plus T3 equals to 24 and T7 plus T8 equals to 5832. Find the first three terms of the sequence. As I said before, I have given the formulas right on the top. See them and remember them. For this problem, we are going to use one of the formulas, which is the nth term, right? Now, what is a geometric sequence? Even without formula, we can write what a geometric sequence is, right? It starts with, let's say, A. If A is my first term, then the next is A times R, right? Because in geometric sequence, every subsequent term is multiplied by a factor, R, right? And next term will again be multiplied by r, so we get a r square. And then we get a r cube. Like that will go, right? So what we note here is that the first term has r to the power of 0. This is t1. This is t2. This is t3. This is t4. And so on, right? So tn has r power is 1 less than Four. Do you see that? 3 is 1 less than, 2 is 1 less than 3, right? So r power is 1 less than the number of terms, right? So it is a r to the power of n minus 1. That is how you really get your formula, right? Now, let's try to do our question. The question says that t2 and t3 are 24. So what is t2 for us? t2 is basically a r and t3 is a r squared. So, AR plus AR square is given as equal to 24, right? Similarly, T7 and T8, their sum is 58, 32. So, T7 should be AR to the power of what? 1 less than 7, which is 6. Plus, T8 will be AR to the power of 8 minus 1, which is 7. And this is equal to a big number, 5832. This is what is given to you. Now, what do we need to find? First three terms. That means A and R. Okay. Now, as you can see, we can factor out AR from here. If I do so, I get 1 plus R here, which is equal to 24. I'll do the same here. What can I factor here? AR to the power of 6. And I get 1 plus R equals to 58. 32, correct? So, do you see some way of finding now? What we will do is, we'll number our equation. Let's say this is my equation number 1 and this is my equation number 2. So, what will happen if I divide equation number 2 by equation number 1? Let's do that. If I do this over this, that means what I'm trying to do here is AR to the power of 6 times 1 plus r divided by a r. So 1 plus r and 1 plus r will cancel out. So let's do it. a r to the power of 6 times 1 plus r over a r times 1 plus r equals to 5832 divided by 24, right? So if I do that, what happens? This cancels out, right? And uh, R, A and A cancels out and we are left with R to the power of 5, right? So we get R to the power of 5. So let me write here, R to the power of 5 is equal to, because A and A will also cancel out, 58, 32 divided by 24. So the 58, 32 divided by 24, which is equal to 243. 243. Now from here I can find R. R equals to fifth root of 243, right? Let's figure out what is that. So we do R is 243 fifth root. So okay. So 243 fifth root. is equal to 3. So we get R equals to 3. See? 
fifth root of 243 is 3. So we know R is 3. Now if R is 3, then what is A? We can plug the value of R in this equation, equation number 1, and find A, correct? So if we do so, what do we get? We get A times, let me write, A times R is 3, right? Times 1 plus 3 equals to 24, right? That means, let's go here. So A times, 3 times 4 is 12. So A times 12 equals to 24 and therefore A equals to 24 divided by 12 which is 2, correct? So we know our A and we know our R. So first, the first three terms should be what? A is 2, right? So let's write our terms here. Let's write our terms here. So A is 2, let's write 2. The next term is 3 times 2, right? Which is 6, then 3 times 6. 18. So these are our first three terms. Okay, I hope you get how to solve this. Thank you.